into a circuit styled class. So that means we've got an exercise that we do for 40 seconds on, then we take a 20 second break before moving on to the next exercise. So we'll do three exercises and then we'll repeat that three times and then we'll do three different circuits. So sounds very repetitive and maybe a little confusing, um, but don't worry, I'll talk you through every circuit as we go. Um, in terms of equipment and space, the only thing you need is maybe a mat or carpet or something soft um, just to for those planks or forearm things, you want something a little bit comfy um, under your body. If you have some, you know, weights that you want to incorporate, go ahead, but not at all required. Um, in terms of space, you want about a um, yoga mats width of space or length of space. So you can see I've got my yoga mat over there and that's about the space that we'll be using. If you have more space, that's great, but I know some of, some of us are in tight, tight, tight quarters at the moment. So, um, but most of the stuff we'll be able to do just in our, on our mat space. Do we have any questions before we get started? Go. All right. Hi, everyone. My name is Eleanor. I'm an instructor at the REC at Cooley. I'm super excited that you all are here today for our full body body weight circuit. Um, we're going to start with a four minute warm up. So go ahead, find some space, and I'm going to move back. Make sure you guys can see me. And I want you to start with 30 seconds of jumping jacks. So go ahead. Get those jumping jacks going. Here we go, 30 seconds. If you're going for a low impact workout today, you just want to tone it down a little bit, go ahead and take that tap out rather than a jump. Keep that arm movement going. Good, nice. So we're just getting warmed up here. Don't need to go super fast. Just letting that heart rate come up. Nice work. All right, now I want you to do side reaches. So you're going to reach your arms side to side, lift that back heel off of the ground. Find that twist in the back. Just saying hello to our spine right here. Nice, big reaches. Good work. Keep it up. Five more seconds right here, and we're going to move back to those jumping jacks. In three, two, one, jumping jacks. Again, that low impact option right here, just a toe tap out. Or if you want to get that heart rate up, give me that jump. Nice work, everyone. So we're just getting warmed up for those that are joining us. Good. In three, Two, one, we're gonna take some Frankenstein. So we're gonna kick our foot forward, try to reach your toe to that foot, alternate those legs. So we're finding a stretch here behind the leg, letting our legs know they're about to do some work. Nice job, everyone. Good. If you bend that knee, okay, that knee a little bit, that's totally fine. All right, we're gonna go back to those jumping jacks right here. Good. After this set of jumping jacks, we're gonna do lat pull downs with a butt kick. Nice work. Good. In three, two, one, we reach those hands towards the sky, we pull down our arms, and we take a butt kick with that back heel, alternating the legs. Nice work. Great. Everyone who's got their video on is doing a great job. Keep it up. Love to see it. Here we're waking up the hamstring and the back. Nice work. Five more seconds before we go back to those jumping jacks. In three, two, one, jumping jacks. Here we go. Nice work. 
Good, we should be starting to feel warm. And I've got a little bit of sweat starting. <laughs> nice work. Just as a reminder to do whatever feels good in your workout here today. Listen to your body. Make sure to take breaks when needed. All right, and our last warm-up exercise here is going to be a walkout. So I'm going to take those arms overhead, dive them down to the ground, walk those hands out to a plank, and bend the knees, walk those hands back. Inhale up. Exhale, arms down. Walk it out to the plank. Hold that plank three seconds. Take it back. Good work. Keep going here. Hold that plank. Take it back. Let's do one more walkout to finish our warm up. And take it back. Nice work. All right. That's our four minute warm up. I'm now going to walk you through the circuits. Um, so listen up, watch what I'm doing, and then we'll do it all together. So our first move is going to be a push up with alternating knee up. So I'm going to showcase first on your knees. You're going to take that push up. After you do that push up, bring your knee to your elbow. Switching each leg. Option to do this on your toes as well. Just make sure you alternate the legs, taking that push up in between. Next exercise is going to be a single leg deadlift with a high reach. So you're going to take those arms down towards the ground, back leg reaches up, you're squeezing those glutes. You're going to lift up, arms overhead, knee comes up. This move is all about balance here, okay? If you've got a weight, you can go ahead and grab it between your hands as an option. Then we've got our bear crawl burpees. So for these, we're going to take a jump forward, take those hands down in front of the feet, plank it out, walk those hands to meet the feet, Step back to your starting position. Jump out, find that plank, walk it back, set yourself up. All right, so that's our circuit. 40 seconds of each exercise. Then we'll take a 20 second break, breathe, move into the next one. All right, let me see some thumbs up. Thumbs down if you're not sure. All right, awesome. Okay, starting with our push-ups with alternating knees. So go ahead, find the ground. Maybe start on your toes or on your knees, whatever works for you. In three, two, one, get started. When we're thinking about that push-up form, we've got those hands right underneath the shoulders. And we've got the shoulders far away from the ears, all right? Pushing through with the chest. Option to do this on your knees as long as you keep the hips in line with your shoulders and your knees, straight line here. You don't want to let the hips sink. Or option to take it up on your toes. All right, nice work, everyone. Keep it up. We're doing push-ups first to get them out of the way. So I promise the only time you're doing push-ups. All right, that's 40 seconds. Come to standing. Shake it out. Good work. Next up, we've got our single leg deadlift to high reach. So if you've got a household item that you want to use as a little weight, got my handy dandy water bottle over here, go ahead and grab it. We're going to do 20 seconds on one side and switch halfway through. Here we go. We take that head lift, knee up, arms up, take it back. This is all about that balance and that standing leg and activating the back of the leg and the one that's extending. Nice work, go ahead, switch sides. Lengthen out, bring it up. That standing leg can be a little bit bent here to give you some stability. Last one. And nice work, put that weight to the side if you're using one. Good, so that's our little balance challenge here. Now we've got our bear crawl with burpees. So find the edge of your mat or the edge of your room. And we're gonna start with that jump, find that plank position, and then walk those hands back to meet the feet. Here we go, we jump it out, plank, walk it back, set yourself up. Jump long, take out that plank, walk it back. Nice work. 
Good. This is your full body exercise here. Don't be afraid to take a big jump. Nice. Good work. Low impact action here. Rather than taking a jump, take a big step. All right, alternating those legs. Big step. Okay, come to standing. Take a break. That was 40 seconds. Way to go. That's one round of this circuit done. And we've got two more. So we're going to go back to those push ups. Maybe try them on your toes this time. See how it feels. Here we go, set yourself up, and get started. Having that knee lift, reaching towards the elbow. When we raise that knee, we're firing up those obliques, those side abdominals. Halfway, keep it up. Keep breathing. You've got this. Give me one more right here. And step it up. Good work. Shake those arms out. Nice job. All right, balance challenge here. That single dead deadlift with our reach. So you're gonna drive the hands down towards the ground. Here we go. 20 seconds on this side before we switch. Notice how I'm straightening my leg before I reach it back, because that really allows me to activate the glutes and the hamstrings in that floating leg. Go ahead, switch sides, starting with that deadlift. Reach those arms overhead. When you bend the knee, lift up. Activating the core here. Think about the belly button reaching towards the spine. Last one. Good work, nice. So the more weight you add to that, whatever household item you wanna use, the more challenging it's gonna be. Okay, take a breather. We're gonna do those bear crawls with our burpee here, starting with that jump. Here we go, jump it out, find that plank, walk the hands back to meet the toes, find your starting position. Nice work. Try to keep that momentum going here. Remember that low impact option to step it up. Give me one more. Right here, last one. And come to standing. Whew. Take a breather. Nice work. We've got one more round of that circuit before we move on. So that means last round of push-ups. Woo! All right, set yourself up in three, two, one. Get started. Lift that knee up after each push-up. Activating the obliques. Good work. Don't be afraid to alternate between being on your toes and your knees. Especially if you feel like your hips are starting to dip, you need just a little bit more, more surface here. Go ahead, drop your knees, focus on the act of working your chest. Good work, bring it up to standing. Nice job. So go ahead, grab that weight if you have one. If you don't, focus on the balancing. Take a deep breath, and here we go. We're gonna lunge down, bring that knee up, weight overhead. Take it down. So this chance for you to really think about that standing leg. Try to keep that ankle nice and quiet. 
Weight is in the heel. Good work. Let's go ahead and switch sides. Take it down. Through center and up overhead. Nice job. Remember to keep that micro bend in the standing leg. All right, that's 40 seconds. Place that weight off to the side. Find the edge of your mat. Maybe you want to set a goal for yourself on this one. Maybe shoot for eight, eight to 10 bear crawl burpees in these last 40 seconds. Here we go. Good work, everyone. Keep it up. Nice. Keep going. Keep going. Good. Nice, Jeffrey. Awesome. Way to go, Megan. Meg is putting in the work. Wow, what a beautiful long jump. Great job, you guys. Keep it up. Ten more seconds. And that's it, great work. All right, drink some water, towel off if you need to. I'm gonna walk you through the next circuit, all right? So, first exercise, crab walk. You're gonna come down on your back, toes facing your heels, you're gonna lift the butt off the ground by squeezing those glutes. You're gonna walk it back for four, activating those triceps, walk it forward for four. All right, option to add a toe tap here, all right, between those walkouts. Okay, little option here. Goal is to keep the hips lifted. It's a little bit of an awkward move when you first get started, but I know you'll get the hang of it. Then we've got alternating lunges. Starting with back stepping. All right, adding a little intensity if you'd like. Jumping lunges. All right, and then our third exercise is going to be our up down planks with a squat hold. So you're gonna find those hands on the mat. You're going to take one elbow down, opposite elbow down, bring it up. Here I want you to tuck the hips in, bring the hips in into a low squat, all right? Bring it back down. Up, down, plank to squat. If you don't want to jump, that's totally fine. I just want you to step it in to keep those hips low, step it back out, all right? Before that up, down, plank. If you're not comfortable with the up, down, plank for whatever reason, give me a shoulder tap. All right, so those are your options. How are you feeling? Did we have a good break? Nice, all right, so get ready. We're gonna start with the crab walk. So find the ground, hands reaching towards your toes, or towards your heels, in three, two, one. We walk it back for four, maybe add in those toe taps, and then walk it forward for four. Nice work. We're thinking about keeping those hips up as much as we can, especially when we're doing those toe taps. It's a little bit of a funky exercise here, but we're activating the backs of the arms, backs of the legs, and even the shoulders here. Good, keep it up. Almost there, give me one more. All right, that's whoo, 40 seconds. <laughs> okay, come to standing. Next up, we've got those alternating lunges. So back stepping to start, or adding that jump for a little bit more cardio. Here we go. Starting now. Good work. Nice. This is feeling a little bit light for you. You could also add a weight here and keep a low impact by taking the jump out or adding in that jump. Nice work, we're halfway through. Keep breathing here. Remember you can speed it up or slow it down. Whatever feels good for you. In five, four, three, two, one. And shake those legs out. Nice work. 
All right, we've got that up down plank with the low squat coming up. Whew. When you do the jump option, you really gotta breathe, breathe after. All righty, find that plank for me. Here we go, take it down, bring it up, find that squat. Take it back to the plank, take it down, and up. Find that squat. When you find that squat, you need to lift your chest up and find your gaze right in front of you in the wall or whatever is facing right in front of you. And remember, alternate which arm comes down for that plank. Good work. Take your time with this. Almost there. Last squat. And come up, shake it out. Woo, nice work, all right. One round done. Two more to go, starting with those crab walks. So, find your hips on the mat, fingertips reaching towards the heels, push through the palms, push through the heels, lift those hips up, here we go. Crab walk it out. Option to add that toe tap. And in the other direction. Nice work, everyone. Good. I'm feeling this in my triceps. Good work. Get those hips lifted. All right, that's 40 seconds. Go ahead, come to standing. Maybe coming up onto that knee first. And then we're gonna do our alternating lunges. So, if you don't wanna do the jump option, maybe grab a weight, hold it by your chest, and take those back seven lunges. In three, two, one, here we go. Those knees and legs are like on two railway tracks. So that foot is not going directly behind the other one. But you want about a foot to half a foot of space between the legs when you lunge it out. Don't forget that option to add the jump. If you want a little bit higher intensity, keeping that heart rate up. Just 10 more seconds right here. Nice work. And last two. Shake it out. Good work, you guys. All right. Up, down, plank. I want you to set yourself up by placing your hands right under your shoulders. Shoulders far away from the ears. Heels reaching back. Here we go. Take it down. Bring it up. And squat. Option for that squat to just step it in. All right, I just want you to keep those hips low. Really activate the quads and the glutes. For whatever reason, those left down planks are not your thing. Feel free to take those shoulder taps. And last one. And take a break. Good job. One more round of this circuit. And then you get a little break. All righty. Find your spot on the ground. Fingertips reaching towards your heels. Engage the core. Lift the hips. Let's take it back. Toe taps. And bring it forward. Good. Try to keep your neck out, out of your shoulders. So really push your hands into the ground. Don't let your chest sink. Good work. Awesome job. Good. Last one right here. Woo! I'm losing my balance. Good work. All right, come to 
understanding, we've got those lunges. Alrighty. So, chest lifted, shoulders on top of the hips. Take that leg back, here we go. Lunging it out, maybe starting with those jumps this time. Seeing if you can go the full 40 seconds. So last time doing these lunges. Halfway there. Good work. Beautiful. 10 more seconds. In five, four, three, two, and one. Shake those legs out. Okay, last move in this circuit are up down planks with our squat. Take a breather. Whew. All right, place those hands under those shoulders. Here we go. Time starts down. Taking it down. Up, step or jump in, back down. You can imagine you're grabbing off the ball right as your gaze lifts. Give me your last one right here. Last one. And take a break. Shake it off, grab some water, towel off. Let's see. Thumbs up, thumbs medium, thumbs lit down. How are we doing? Good, nice. Good. <laughs> Second circuit was a killer. All right. Well, let's see how circuit three goes. We're gonna start on our belly with some supermans and lat pull down. So superman, superwoman, super person, whatever you're feeling. When you're gonna come down with your belly, your arms are gonna reach overhead. You're gonna lift your arms, your shoulders, and your legs off the ground. And then you're gonna pull your elbows by your hips. Reaching back up, down. Back up, pull back, reach up, and down, all right? We're going to activate the back here and get those lats going. Now we're going to come on to our back. And we're going to take a glute bridge. So weight in the heels, lift those hips up. And then we're going to take a crunch to alternate. Hips up, shoulders up. Hips up, shoulders up. All right, activating the booty and the core. Then we've got our explosive lateral jumps here. So I want you to take a jump up, arms reach up, take it down, arms reach up and down. All right, little cardio finish here. If you want a lower intensity, I want you to shuffle, okay? Right here, keep it low. Okay, but otherwise explosive up and down. All righty. I see the chat box going up. I just wanna make sure we're all good here before we get started. <laughs> Great, awesome. Okay, so ready to get started with those Superman lap pull down. So find your body, your stomach on the ground, arms reaching up in three, two, one. Here we go, 40 seconds doing up, elbows to our back, reach up. Lay down, bring it up, elbows to the hips, reach back up and down. As you're doing this, I still want you to activate the core here. So think about your belly button reaching towards the spine. You've got opposite movements going on here, and that's what's giving you that strength. So I want you to activate the core and activate the glutes. Strong core, good. It's like the trunk of your tree, super strong. The limbs are just having fun here. Good, last one. And come back down, now you're gonna roll on over. 
So nice, you get to just stay on the ground here. We're gonna bend the knees, reaching towards the ceiling, heels by the glutes, palms down by your side, I'm sorry, palms up by your ears. And we're gonna start with that glute bridge. So push through the heels, lift those hips, and then give me a crunch up, shoulders up. Glute bridge and crunch. Glute bridge and crunch. If you're not comfortable with the arms by your ears, you can keep them by your side here. Just floating a few centimeters off of the ground. Good, keep it up. You might notice you're inchworming back a little bit. That's totally fine. Feel free to readjust. Good work. In three, two, one. And come on, roll it up to standing. We've got our explosive jump to finish this circuit. So start by at one side of your mat, and we're going to reach those arms up towards the ceiling. And then take it down, reach it up, take it down in three, two, one. Here we go. Take it up and down, up and down. I want you to send those hips back, but that chest is high, all right? You've got wording on your t-shirt. I can read what it says. You guys can see my t-shirt says Baltimore. Happy to be reunited with some Baltimore friends here today. Nice work. Keep breathing. Low impact option. Shuffle side to side, okay? Good. Nice work. Give me two more. Last one. Good. Shake it out. Whew. Nice job. All right. We're going to breathe. And then in five, ten seconds, meet back down, belly on the mat, okay? So, find your breath. Slowly wake, make your way down to the ground, arms overhead, and here we go. We lift arms and legs, lap pull down, reach back up, rest it down. Go at your own pace here. Good. This is a great exercise to keep that back engaged, especially when we're spending a lot of time sitting, maybe slouching in front of our computer. We really want to keep that upper back working. Last one. Good work. Rest. Roll yourself over onto your back. It's like a little massage. All right, find the edge of your mat. Knees facing up. Place those heels down on the ground. Hands by your ears. Here we go. Let's start with that glute bridge. And crunch up. Glute bridge. And crunch up. Nice work, everyone. Try to get your shoulder blades one millimeter off the ground higher every time. Really activating the core. Good work. Keep it up. We've got 10 more seconds. Last combo right here. And come to standing. All right, we've got those explosive lateral drums. How are we doing? Good, you guys look great, awesome. Okay, three, two, one, take it up. Hips back and down, good. Think about meeting your feet together in the air, in the middle. Good, nice job. You're like a rocket. Reach for the stars, nice work. Awesome. Low impact option right here. Okay, little shuffle. Good job. In three, two, one, take a break. Woo. 
Nice work. Just one more round of the circuit, and then we're gonna be done. That's crazy. <laughs> Alrighty, so find your mat bell on the ground. Arms are lifted overhead. We activate the shoulders and the glutes. Here we go. We lift up, elbows back, we lift up, and down. Good. Make sure to keep those shoulders away from the chairs, even when your arms are overhead, okay? We don't need to create any unnecessary tension in the neck. We want this work in the back. Imagine you've got a pencil between your shoulder blades. You want to squeeze it real tight. Good work. One more. And we rest. We roll on over to our back. Knees facing up towards the ceiling. Heels close in by the glutes. We're going to place your hands right by your ears. Now we're going to start with that glute bridge. Here we go. Hips up. And then give me that crunch. When you crunch, think about that gaze going right through between the knees. And lift those shoulder blades up just a little bit higher. You'll feel that tension in your belly each time you crunch up a little bit higher. And for that glute bridge, I really want you to focus on pressing through the heels and squeezing your glutes. Way to go. Ten more seconds. Last one. Nice work, come to standing. All right, just one more exercise to finish out our class here today. We've got our explosive jumps in three, two, one. Let's reach up and down. Great work, maybe add a little bit more speed here. Push yourself to go a little bit faster than the last two rounds. Your last bit of active work for the day. Good job. Keep it up. We're more than halfway through. Amazing work, everyone. Keep it up. Five, four, three, two. Last one. Awesome. Shake it out. Woo. Go ahead and breathe with me here. Check it out. And that's, that was our 30 minute circuit with five minutes of warm up. If you wanna stick around for a five minute stretch, go ahead and stay online. I'll lead us through that. But if you've gotta run, I totally understand. Go ahead and do that. Thanks for coming. And I hope to see you again in another virtual class offering. But if you're sticking around and you wanna stretch with me, we're gonna meet standing and we're gonna start with a shoulder stretch here. So I want you to take that arm right across your body here, not right on your elbow joint, but somewhere a little bit lower. Good, and you're gonna pull that arm towards you and push down on that shoulder, okay? And you're just gonna breathe here, holding that stretch. Nice work, maybe sway those hips side to side. Good. Nice job, you guys. That was a pretty intense circuit workout today. Let's go ahead and switch arms. Really proud of everyone who came and joined us today. Good work. Feel free to drop any suggestions, comments in the chat box. I'll definitely go through them all at the end. All right, let's release that stretch. Now we're gonna take a hamstring stretch. So I want you to reach one foot out in front of you, other leg out behind you, both feet are flat on the ground. 
And you're going to start to walk your hands down towards that forward foot. You're trying to reach towards the ground. Maybe you don't quite touch your toes. Or maybe you touch the ground. And then we're going to lift the hips up towards the ceiling. Think about both hips lifting up towards the ceiling. So you've got a nice flat back here. I could put a cup of soup on your back. And then let them fall over. Nice work. Good. And since we're here, we're going to go ahead and take that back leg deeper into a high lunge. So maybe you want to place those hands on that front bent leg, or if it's accessible to you, go ahead and drop those hands by the leg if that's comfortable. So here we're really feeling the stretch through the front of that hip. We did a, quite a bit of hip flexion today where we brought our knees up towards our chest or towards our elbows. And this is really good to release some of that tension. All right, go ahead, step that foot in. And then I want you to flex the front foot, bend that back knee. I don't know if you can see. Flex the front foot, bend the back knee, reach for those toes and pull them back. Getting a stretch behind that calf right here. Good. Angle this down just a little bit. Nice, so flex foot, reaching towards that toe. And let's release. I want you to just pivot here, switch to the other side. So you're just switching legs here, you pivoted over to the other side. Now we're gonna start with that hamstring stretch. So hips are square, we lean forward, flat back, reaching for those toes or for the ground. And we're breathing here, deepening the stretch. Think about your hips reaching towards the ceiling. Gaze is just a few inches in front of that front foot. One more inhale and exhale. And then let's lengthen that back leg, bending the front leg. Deep lunge. Maybe you want to place those hands on that front leg or take those hands down towards the ground, whatever you're comfortable with. I actually prefer, at least for the purpose of a hip flexor stretch, putting my hands up here because it allows me to lengthen my chest and I get more of a stretch through that front of that hip. All right, we're holding one more breath in. Exhale out. Bring that back leg in. Flex the front toes. Reach, grab those toes, and stretch the back of the calf right here. This is for all that jumping we did today. Especially if you were barefoot like me. My shoes were too wet from being outside. So barefoot workout for me today. And always feels good to take that calf stretch after that. All right, let's release that stretch. Take those arms up, big inhale, overhead, arms above the head. Exhale, release down. And give yourself a big hug, pat on the back. Great work today, you guys. It was so awesome to have each of you with me today, and I hope to see you guys again soon. Thank you so much. Have a great rest of your day.